to talking about congressional newcomers from here in the Northwest. One Republican and one Democrat hitting the ground running. Oregon Republican Lori Chavez Dreamer and Washington Democrat Marie Glusenkamp Perez on Capitol Hill tonight for orientation before the results are even official. Right. Let's get to our Lisa Balick. She's going beyond the headlines tonight with what is now top of mind for these new local leaders. Lisa? Well, we don't have the official results, but the winners have been called in these races. And both of these women say they have definite issues they want to work on as soon as they're sworn into office on January 3rd. Now, I did find out more, though, about why these two seats may have flipped from blue to red and red to blue. It's orientation time for new members of Congress, from what to do to where to go. But they all arrive with plans for what they want to focus on after taking office in January. Democrat Marie Glusenkamp Perez, representing Southwest Washington, taking over a former Republican seat. You know, I'm a small business owner. I think both parties have failed to deliver real results for small businesses. We need a clear regulatory environment. Um, we have got to address workforce shortages. That means supporting career and technical education, um, supporting you know working moms. Uh, those are all critical issues. From Oregon, Republican Lori Chavez Dreamer a former Happy Valley mayor who will now represent the newly drawn 5th District, taking over what was a former Democratic seat. The economy, a big issue. People are searching uh, for good, vibrant jobs. They, they don't want to waste um, all of their uh, paychecks uh, trying to catch up with inflation. Um, and we want to make sure that we can protect that and, and, and get those costs down. I mean, our gas prices were still in the mid $5 range. Uh, that's a lot for, for young people. We want to make sure education's addressed, that parents uh, know what's happening in the classroom and that there's some school choice. Both women won extremely tight races and flipped their districts. One thought is that political parties in those races ousted more moderate incumbents in the primary. Republican Jamie Herrera Butler in Washington, Democrat Kurt Schrader in Oregon. And that didn't go well. The ideologically more extreme candidates that emerged in removing incumbents from office, Joe Kent in Washington and McLeod Skinner in Oregon. And the result was that both of these candidates lost. Now, there are different reasons potentially for that, but one of them is that you saw potentially both of these parties kind of commit an own goal. Meaning what? Meaning that they made it made their candidates more vulnerable than they potentially could have been in this election. Now, one other note from talking to the can these people that are now there, not candidates anymore, but members elect of Congress. Marie Lusenkamp says that she, if Nancy Pelosi does run for Speaker of the House again, she will not be voting for her. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin Six News. Yeah.